Hello, my crypto bit brothers and sisters. It's been a while since we've seen you, since yesterday. <laughs> Man, right. here's Papa Ron over here, too. We got us all here this morning. And it's feeling good, day. too. All the rain. We got, we got liquid sunshine today, <laughs> yeah. which we need because Utah, you know, is, is desert. <laughs> and we need all the rain we can get. <laughs> right. Hey, we got a news article, folks, and just saw this this morning, so it might be a little word of caution to you. Uh, five arrested in plot to break into a home and steal their Bitcoin. Oh, my heck. Um, and I've thought about this in the past anyway. I mean, you know, this is, this is just another reason to kind of keep quiet about what you own. I mean, you know, just like me and Rod on here shouting it out all the time, we're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we always talk about our wealth is in slivers, hardly nothing. Yeah, we, we ain't got nothing. Yeah. Not even enough to put on a Ledger Nano S. It would laugh at us if we put that minute, <laughs> minuscule amount on there. But, uh, you know, you're going to want to keep quiet. I mean, th this is like, this is, since it's all on your computer and your passwords are available to you, I mean, it's just like having your bank money in your home. Yeah. And, and these people know they could just walk in and put a gun to you and say, now get on that computer and transfer that stuff over to my wallet. Or, or however it works. But anyway, it's just a word of caution. Just keep this stuff $1 quiet. million dollars in Bitcoin they've stolen? Oh, my hell. And that's that's Forsyth. That's in Georgia. I didn't know anybody in Georgia had a million bucks, Rod. <laughs> government officials. <laughs> really, folks, we could say the same about Utah. I'm just funning you. Yeah, you better be funning yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 them are some of my good old uh, southern boys. What you talking about? <laughs> Down there in Georgia. Not them five guys, but the Georgians anyway. Yeah. Five guys, burgers, and fries. Have you ever been there, Rod? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have. Yeah. I, it's been a while since I've been there since I don't live Me close too. to any of them places. But they have unlimited french fries, folks, and they're fresh. And it's not like them fresh things you get at Wendy's. Got a little peel on them, and they're just not worth nothing. The, these are good, fresh steak fries, and you can get all you want with the burg you order. And it's called Five Guys Burgers and Fries, something like that. Good place. Yeah. Hey, listen, we got an article here we want to look at. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like this article. Well, it ties into what we've been talking about the last few days. Um what I mean, I don't like it. I don't like the guy that's running that is talking about. Well, he fits in to, to he's one of the he, he fits he's into the, the club, world, man. He's, he's one of the world, whatever you call him, financial gurus, the bankers. Yeah. He's tied into the elites. I don't know if he is, but he, his wealth would denote that. So the article yeah. says here that Japan's Bitcoin boss searches for Wall Street talents. To build the biggest crypto empire ever. Uh, Japan's it's Bitcoin. It's funny, this guy's only been in business for four years. <laughs> yeah. Well, and he's, he's probably, huge. Probably coming into with money. We don't want to. At first, I thought we'd read this whole article, but we're not going to. No, um, I don't think we need to. Well, Rod, you scan through it and pick out some highlights, but his quote right here Kano said, My target is to be number one in the world. To get there, I need to grow headcount. And those yeah. with the best skills come from global banks. Banks, yeah. Now yeah. this is going to tie. And also, in. he's looking for traders too, you know. Yeah, and that's where he thinks he's going to get the best people to run this. Which tells you what, folks. He, you know, he, he, deal. Yeah, he wants people that have the mindset, and this ties into our previous video, which you folks need to watch if you haven't about changing your mindset yeah. and how those habits are formed within us. But it's the same one. If, if you put all your staff as bankers, well, guess what? They're going to run, want to run the thing like a bank. Yeah. I mean, that's their, that's their whole mentality. That's what they've been working at the last several years, a centralized system to be into control, to manipulate the numbers, to make as most money as you possibly can. Um, 
these global guys trying to get together bothers me. I thought I didn't like this article. <laughs> yeah. We'll put but it's in the, good to know. We'll but put it in the description box, folks. Canu has been taking advantage of recent Japanese regulations that facilitate the finance to crypto <clears throat> leap. As Japan's virtual currency exchanges are now licensed, it makes the country more ideal base for the increasingly global operation. Now, and this is a this is a key factor too, folks. One is that this stuff is going globally, and these guys know it. Um, yeah, you bet. What what else is saying there? Um, oh, it says a hell of a hell of a lot of stuff. I think you need to read it to to really get the full act of it. Kano already has offices set up in Tokyo, San Francisco, and Luxembourg, and his plans to open offices in Africa, South Africa, Australia, and other parts of Asia. Um, Just goes to show you, this thing's turning global. It is. It is. And, and uh, Gal, I read through this. Um, okay, about talks crypto. about... Yeah. Not, not so much him, but crypto, and also probably the... the bankers and stuff that he wants to hire is becoming global so they all have the same mindset just like you said you well, know they're, they're they're anyway yeah we have to get the right mindset we got to start doing this well the, these folks uh, uh they know where this is headed rod um he talks about his competition here too he says cano foresees competition ahead as wall street companies are on the tail of this new industry as well intercontinental exchange incorporated the owner of new york stock exchange is planning to launch a platform that enables investors to bet on cryptocurrency while goldman is preparing to start a bitcoin trading business anyway it just goes on and on about how big they expect this to be and all the main players are getting into it now folks which again it's time to sharpen up your pencils and get those portfolios where you want them to be i mean if you're That's converted right. to the cause i don't want to repeat what we just talked about but um this stuff this stuff is getting big and here look, look at this now rod to this article here okay uh mcradio and block shipping collaborate to transform the global container shipping industry. Do you know oh, how wow. many can, do you know how many containers are on the ocean all the time, Rod? <laughs> Billions. <laughs> it, it, it'll blow you away. It's crazy what this article talks about. So there's two of them that are partnering up. That, and this is this is positive stuff, folks. We know the blockchain is the answer for a lot of these companies to streamline their ledging and ledgers and how they operate. And it just takes so much, um, it just helps them so much in all their logistics and everything. It says there's approximately 27 million shipping containers, 27 million shipping containers and a joint platform where all players think, maybe I misread that. But there is a lot. <laughs> well, it just goes to show you there's something somebody else getting in on the on the blockchain. Right, and it, and besides the blockchain, now this is what else they're doing. They're going to part not partner up, but they're going to use uh, stablecoin. Will you get on the market cap rod and see? I didn't even look up anything about stablecoin. Here's a quote sure. from him: We believe that there's a huge potential value in what DAI, the stable coin, will bring to this platform, their blockchain using. Leveraging Maker's stable coin system will enable block shipping to increase the pace of development and reduce, reduce the time to market. And it's called G what? G, GSCP? Uh, the stable coin? Yeah. S-T-A-B-L-E, stable. Oh. <laughs> Folks, here's part of the article too. Uh, Stablecoin system has created a digital currency, DAI, which is soft pegged to the U.S. dollar, bringing stability uh -oh. to the blockchain. Now, 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 think about this, folks. You got the shipping industry of the whole world getting onto blockchain and a 
currency to make this more efficient. Um, can you see where everything is going? It's gearing up to this. The infrastructure is being put in place. The shipping industry is so huge. Um, and, and now to say that they're going to all of a sudden deal in tokens maybe for the exchange of value. It didn't say that in the article, but I can see this coming. If they're getting on the block, is there such a thing as stablecoin, Rod? No, it's DAI. Okay. DAI, it's 99 cents. How many in circulation? How many total? Oh, uh, circulation is uh, 35 million. Volume is 1 million. Uh, it's got 204 uh, Bitcoin as in 24-hour okay. volume. So it's trading a little bit. It's ranked number 273. Oh, that's higher than I would have thought. <clears throat> yeah. It's going to make a difference getting these boys on there. But, yeah. but So now here we have the, the global shipping industry. Getting on blockchain is in and itself big news. But now to say we're going to try to be tokens tokenized we're going to maybe use tokens for our exchange of uh not value but you know how we pay each other for this yeah I, i'm assuming it, this stuff's gearing up folks and we need to gear up also not so much to keep this all decentralized which i still have my wits about my ifs but but we got to uh sharpen our pencils find that extra 100 200 bucks and buy some something it can make a difference anyway well you, you know you know the thing that is my my good friend you know because a lot of people ask me how old i am and i'm gonna tell them hey i knew adam by his first name so my good friend benjamin franklin once said you may delay but time will not and so you know it's time to stop delaying to buy these crypto cryptocurrencies or taking that extra 100 bucks or 50 bucks or whatever you got and go buy it because it's gonna go up yeah it's just a matter of time honestly the the whole world is gonna switch into this folks and i don't know if it's gonna come as a whirlwind just an overnight or if it's gonna gradually t i don't know but rod that was a good quote time doesn't wait for anyone no nope. isn't that another quote somewhere is that oh, on the okay. wizard of oz no. <laughs> well, they, they did. They stole it from Ben Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> Time doesn't wait, folks. It's it's moving forward. We've got to keep momentum too. It does. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you so much. Be sure and give us a thumbs up if you like it. Press it and pound that like it. Like it and uh, God bless. <laughs>